All right. Yeah, I can do this one and then chill for a bit and do some more later. So I've done quite a few. Well, I've done a couple of Chris Cornell, but there's a Soundgarden one because this again is from Lydia. Um, but there's another Soundgarden one she sent, which is a live them. I think was it opening for Guns N' Roses. But I want to do that. I've just kind of run out of time. But yeah, um, I thought I'd do another Chris Cornell before I end. Uh, Chris Cornell preaching the end of the world. Yeah, again, this is from Lydia. Uh, Patreon request. Oh, no, actually, PayPal request. Um, but anyway, yeah, let's go. This is a, this, yeah, this is a very, well, obviously sad, but very depressed, depressed sounding lyrics. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, well, I think that just pretty much sums it up. Uh, maybe you do tend to, or yeah, you do tend to overlook into his depressive lyrics because of what what happened to him ultimately in the end but yeah this sounds like depression to me um even how he looks even how like he's i know like this is a video so <clears throat> he's obviously not singing um but even how he's looking it doesn't like there's I mean there is always a kind of darkness to the how he looks but it seems a more <clears throat> vulnerable look than say like when you well when you see him perform other stuff is he has a very intense almost scary look in his eyes of how intense he is into what he's doing but with this it's like it seems yeah definitely a very vulnerable like of yeah an open track like when you listen to Lennon's um, plastic Yoko Ono band it's got that kind of vibe to it where you're like holy shit this is a, um, a very personal I suppose that's the thing but yeah let's go
there's a lot of imagery in that. <clears throat> I'm guessing that was this is a track. In fact, I'm gonna look it up. It's more about nuclear. Um, Chris Cornell, but that's my guess is that it's more about nuclear power. Chris Cornell, uh, end of the world. Um, reaching the end of the world meaning because who wants to be on their own while the world is ending? And he talks about the kind of relationship he says he can have with that person. Hold on. Literally just took the meaning. See, this is what, like, this is the top comment on this. But it's like, that's what you kind of get first from the track. I, he says, I don't know if it's about not wanting to be lonely or needing someone else to share your life with. I don't know. What Chris was feeling when he wrote it, but what I feel when I hear this is how lonely I feel at time. When I look around and I know that I can truly count two people who will always be there. That's more than most, mate, to be fair. But, um... Uh... But this is what I mean, even what this mate is going on into. And I don't mean to dissect this man's life, or this girl's life, is about girl. But it sounds depression um, of how fucked up humanity is. Everyone's too busy with themselves. They can't even look around and see the sunrise or anything pure. Just what they need, what one or what they think they deserve. Just selfish emotions. Nothing pure. This is, but that's just to me, like, I used to talk like that. But I feel this is actually more <clears throat> li literal literal at first i thought it was kind of metaphorically about depression and loneliness and and the end of the world because it doesn't have to be the end of the world for it to be the end of your world uh but as it went on because like with this bit yeah there will be no commitment and no confessions and no little secrets to keep no little children or houses with roses just the end of the world and me because all has because all has been gone and all has been done and there's nothing left for us to say but we could be together as they blow it all away this is what i mean this is it was this bit that kind of made me feel like it's a more anti-war or not anti-war necessarily, but anti-nuclear war. Um, that's kind of more the vibe I'm getting. But it's a very depressive way of looking at the world because of, well, I mean, we all thought, we still all think we're about to nu go to a nuclear war now. But, uh, hold on, what's this say? Yeah, seeking a thrill for the end of the world. Uh, am I the only one who was wholly disappointed when the movie Seeking the World came out and this song wasn't on the soundtrack? I wasn't surprised, though, considering how much older this song is than that movie, not to mention the fact that it's exactly a radio hit or anything. Still, this song fits into the movie. Yeah, I'm just reading comments now <laughs> about the track. But at first, I took it as what that first mate you said. Or, uh, or that um, woman. Uh, at first I thought depression but I actually do feel like this was actually more um, not even really against it it's kind of accepting it because it's gonna happen at some point it's just gonna happen it's just uh, if it doesn't happen now with Russia it will happen at some point at some point it will kick off you don't have weapons out like that for ever but this is what i feel like with this it feels more like an actual nuclear attack because as well in the video from the images in the video where they were showing like um bare trees and deserts um 
But then it could also, mm, no, not so much because they said blow it all away. I was going to say it could be a, a global warming type track, but not with the line blow. Um, we could be together as they blow it all away. Uh, yeah. So I'd say that it's more of um, not necessarily an anti-war, but it's a realization of war. Someone said this when I reacted to some matey talking about war and blaming war on the gun companies that they said go and listen to be on the wheel get all like because i was like what's he talking about that's not why people fight wars because there's gun companies it's a ridiculous thing to say people have fought wars everything on the planet fights wars lions like humans are one of the few things that actually die of old age as a common way of dying it's like most things have a very vicious brutal end to their life um, and then someone said go and listen to Beyond the Wheel again because it basically said the same thing as the matey so I was thinking does it and I went back through and it, it doesn't it didn't really say what anything different to what I was saying That because this song is, is I mean obviously no one wants war everyone's anti-war but the fact is is that there's an acceptance that you have to have that that is what people do it's what the world is from every level of it. Um, and I thought, when I went and did listen to Beyond the Wheels lyrics again, I thought, I don't think it said the same thing as what that mate he said that I disagreed with. Um, and this is kind of the same thing. It's, we could be together as they blow it all away and we can share in every moment as it breaks. Call me now, it's all right, it's just the end of the world. And that's kind of how it is, it's just the end of the world. It's like, what are you going to do? Um, yeah, I would say that it's about nuclear war. But let me know, because it didn't, this didn't really give a lot of info some people think it is about just being lonely and how shit humanity is but i think that's a very depressed way to look at it i think it's more i mean there is an element of that but there is an element of yeah everything being gone there's like because for humanity being awful doesn't have to do with there's no roads or no fucking children or whatever um Hold on. I think this was written in a tough period for Chris. A lot of his friends like Jeff Buckley and Andrew from Mother Love Bone were dying and it seemed to him he would end up all... Of... Ah. It's really sad and to feel like you're the only one sometimes, even when you're in a crowded room. Hmm. Maybe. Anyway, yeah, let me know, because I know, like, you guys have, like, a, probably a better understanding than most of these people commenting, to be honest. Um, but, yeah, let me know. Let me know what this song is actually wrote at, and it's called, because I think Nuclear War. But, yeah, let me know. Um, that's the reaction. Sweet.